Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a cowboy butter and we did it shrimp style. The butter is absolutely fantastic. We did it on our refurbished Blackstone. If you guys wanna see how we make this, here we go. All right, to get started, this is the idea. It's not necessarily about the protein you use, although today is shrimp and I'm super excited. It's about the cowboy butter. Fancy name for compound butter. I love them, we've done them in the past. Chef Tim came over a couple days ago and threw down a fantastic reverse seared um, American Wagyu strip. Fantastic, but the compound butter was out of this world, so I'm gonna up the game a little bit. So this is what we got. Butter, some lemon, some garlic, some shallots, some mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, paprika, and some minced onion. And with the compound butter, you can actually serve it two ways. You can serve it wet, or you could refrigerate it slash freeze it and serve it like medallions or chunks, however you wanna do it. We might actually do both today. All right, to get started, we're gonna start melting the butter in the skillet. We got some vegetables and some zest to take care of. Garlic and that half a shallot. Today we're just eyeballing it kind of like recipe from the heart. We'll get it dialed down so you guys can get the recipe obviously on the flattopking.com. I just want that garlic and onion to become really translucent, soft, tender, and we'll keep adding the ingredients. Add about a tablespoon of W sauce. About a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Depends on how hot you want it. About a tablespoon of hot sauce. about a half a tablespoon of minced onion, about a teaspoon of paprika. Let's give that a quick mix. I'm looking about the zest of a lemon. Obviously if you're doing like chicken or you could even use the recipe for steak, you might not add as much lemon, but I want that zest because obviously we're dealing with shrimp. I think that citrus will come through. The juice of half a lemon. It's got some good lemon to it, some good flavor. I like it where it's at. Golly, that's good. All right, we're gonna turn it off. And this is what we're gonna do. Basically split half of it. So I'm just eyeballing here. Not a big deal if it's not half. This is gonna go in the freezer and harden up for us. We have some beautiful 15 and under shrimp. Pretty large, we're just gonna very simply take them out of the shell. I'm sure you guys have done it before. These are uh, de-veined already, so we're just gonna take the shell out. Whether you keep the tail on, that's completely up to you. In a bowl it goes so we can season it. Shrimp's done and peeled. We're gonna use that shake that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Natural combination when it comes to this. Um, if you're going to omit a seasoning like this when you do your compound butter, you might want to add a little salt, something for a little brightness. Since I was adding the seasoning to the shrimp, then that's why we did not add it to the butter. We got that leftover mix. You guys can see all that shallot, onion, and garlic just uh, deteriorated. That's what we're looking for. Work that in there, get it all ready to go. Easy as it sounds, this is how it is. So the griddle's about a medium, medium low. I got this one a little bit higher because this one lags just a little bit. And other than that, we're just gonna cook the shrimp all the way through. You guys know me, I don't like to add everything to the griddle at once. I like its own landing zone for that sear action. Oh yeah. This compound butter, we did garlic steak bites uh, a little while back. Kind of like the same idea here, just using a different protein and a different mix of ingredients. But this right here can definitely go into a garlic steak bite or something like that.
Try to keep all that butter in there with it when you serve it. The shrimp's done, it's still hot. I got that cowboy butter uh, just basically frozen in the freezer. If you put this in a log with plastic wrap, you can cut up medallions if you want to. I kind of like just kind of sprinkling it around. It's gonna naturally melt inside all those nooks and crannies. We can help her a little bit with a little blowtorch. Alrighty, there you go. So I don't know what else to do besides Lemony, I like it a lot. I like that a lot. That's good. That is good. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Let's see, where's my bite? Mm. I gotta tell you kid, that's where it's at. You could take that cowboy butter and not even freeze it and just keep it wet and then just dip your shrimp in there if you wanted to. Ooh, that's a good idea. But look at all this drippage right here. I mean, that's basically what you're doing. So no matter how you do it, you just want to make sure you capture all that flavor. Mm. Here, put the shrimp in your mouth. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I mean, mm. 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 how do you think that butter is melting? Mm. Mm. This will mm. be served as an entree, an appetizer, you know, just, or, just a low carb protein dinner if you wanted to. Mm. It's about time we made something healthy on this channel. With a whole stick of butter? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys are interested, uh, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Group, or hit that join notification button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Last but not least, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Easy shrimp on the Blackstone. Easy. Easy. That was easy. Mm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm.